across the country. There's like a television special on these Christmas cards. I swear. Now, Joy, as we sit here... Stay out of programming, okay? Okay, I will. <laughs> get, get rid of my old hat. Listen, as, as we sit here, all eyes are upon the North Pole. Let's yeah. face it. Little sugar plums are dancing in the head, and all the kids are wondering if there'll be snow for Santa to arrive, and whether it's all going to work out in the end. Of course, it always does. But the thing about the North Pole is, none of us really even know where it is, but we found someone who's been there. Please welcome Peter Gutman, who's sort of been everywhere in the world. Hi, but Peter. today, we wanted to hear about your travels to the North Pole. What brings you to places like the North Pole, Peter? Well, I think you'll agree the North Pole is the most legendary address on the planet. And it was also the very, one of the very last places I had left to visit. Coincidentally, it was one of the very last places that was explored on our planet. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that adding to this allure is the fact that it's really difficult to find the North Pole on a map. So where is it? We have a globe here. Well, you know, Show when, us. when you look on a flat map, what they call a Mercator projection, they always lop off the top and the bottom. Right. The globe is an entirely different problem here. Okay. And just to quickly explain, on the bottom of the planet here, you have Antarctica, which is a frozen continent surrounded by ocean, in the middle of which is the South Pole. Right. Antarctica means opposite the Arctic, so oh. when we look over here, we see we have a frozen ocean mm -hmm. surrounded by continents, in the middle of which is supposed to be the North Pole, but instead we have this annoying metal tab here. <laughs> so we'll lift that out, and as you can see, the North Pole's missing. The North There's Pole. a hole. Wow. And I like to fill in the blanks. And well, I appreciate that. Boy. And that's where Santa lives in that hole? Well, theoretically, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to show you what is put in that hole in, All right. in our pictures. Thanks for the geography lesson. Now let's look at the North Pole, because we all have sort of a vision of it in our head, it's sort of being a snowy tundra. Well, it is, as I just mentioned, a very vast uh, Arctic That is cap. water that we're looking at there? You are looking at a combination of immense ice flows and, uh, wow. and polar cap as the Yamal, which is a 750,000 horsepower icebreaker, heads to the top of the world. Wow. And you can charter that ship uh, by Quark Expeditions, which is out of Darien, Connecticut. No kidding. Is that very popular, this trip? Well, uh, to book a trip, you have to be fairly well healed. You need right. a lot of disposable income. Or a Start travel photographer like yourself. Or a travel photographer. That will okay. do just as well. But it, it, prices start around $17,000 and up. And how long that. does it take to get to the North Pole from New York? Well, you would fly from New York to Helsinki. You'd spend the night in Helsinki. You'd head another day over on a charter flight to Murmansk, which is on the uh, northern coast of Russia. Wow. Then you'd get on board the Yamal, and then you would be chiseling Gee. and chopping your way that across the uh, ice pack until you reach the North And you have to pay for this. Pole. In other words, they don't pay you to do this. Uh, well, in this particular instance, <laughs> I was photographing for the Quark Expeditions so, brochure. So, uh, did you get any place, did you get near Santa's home, do well, you think? we will, uh, I think, come to okay. some of Santa's home now, shortly. You'll notice some of the cobalt blue icebergs that you might right. be passing uh, that. on the way to is the that, north. Is that a large one that I'm looking at, or is that a close-up? It's a very large iceberg floating by right. with its uh, opalescent blue colors. Right. And how cold was it when you were there? Well, temperatures hovered around uh, 10, 15 degrees or so. Well, wow. okay. it's not bad. It's not that bad. It's worse in North Dakota. Right. Well, actually, they're, they're, no. you're there in the summer. Are. And if you're wondering what the North Pole looks like, that's exactly it. It's a red sign with yellow letters on it. That's, that's it, what huh? goes in the hole, that sign. <laughs> uh, that's it. The, the North Pole, uh, you, you see, by the way, the Russian crew that is posing in front of the Yamal. Oh, Yama. I thought it this was is... tail hook. <laughs> This is a nuclear-powered <laughs> Russian icebreaker that chops its way to the very top. And when you get there, all sorts of ceremonies take place. You mm -hmm. can privately enjoy it. Or as this picture shows here, what I did to commemorate the event was I climbed to the top of the radar mast and shot down on this radio engineer, therefore proving visually that I was the northernmost person on the planet ah, of the Earth. I see. Wow. And uh, you might see some people dancing over here. They uh -huh. are dancing into every time zone in the world. And as oh, they do, wow. they dance into tomorrow and back into today because they're crossing the international date line as well. Now, what do you mean? Who are those people dancing? Those are some of the people that were on the trip. And if no. you get overheated in the dancing, you can always take a nice little dip now, in the who ocean is this there. that's crazy person? That's the expedition leader of the trip as he plunges downward uh, into the wow. waters that are broken New up by the, the polar bear club. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Suicide mission. That looks frightening. Something I participated in Did as well. Did you do well. it? You Did have you? to have a rope tied to you to uh, just in case you get paralyzed Is it something that once waters. you're up in the North Pole, you're moving? to do something like you that? You are moved to do a lot of very crazy things. And those are the coldest waters on Earth because the water there 
freezes at a lower temperature because it's salt water. Right, right. Now, let's see. Oh, look. Oh. That would be a North Polean. Now, that this would be the closest you on. might find to Santa's clan. These are the Nancy people that okay. inhabit the uh, northern Siberian tundra lands. Mm -hmm. And like uh, Santa, you can oh, notice yes. they have ruddy cheeks and yes. they are quite adept with reindeer. And that is a sleigh there? That's a sleigh. You notice Ooh. looking down on at least a thousand reindeer wow. as they roar across the tundra. And these are wow. people that lead a very difficult nomadic life. That's a Santa's eye view, wow. by the way, of a oh, reindeer wonderful. pulled sleigh wonderful. heading across the Arctic tundra. Wow. One great photograph. Wonderful. Thank you very yeah. much. That was really enjoyable. And it's much more fun than watching slides in somebody's house, don't you think? <laughs> to watch yeah, them I watch the that. show. Now, Peter, in addition to that, to this world traveling that you do, you also took our Christmas picture that we're sending to a lot of you at home. We're giving you a sneak preview of the Christmas picture. Joy, look at you in your beautiful red there. And, of oh, course, goodness. you have to get the card to read the sentiment on the back. So, you know, keep those cards alive. Who's that Coming naked Santa there? No, that would be Joe. Oh. That would be um, Rhonda. Rhonda Shear, actually. <laughs> Listen, thanks a lot, Pierre. That was very so interesting. Welcome. I really enjoyed that. Happened. It was a very magical place, isn't it? Yeah. Now we're going to continue with some more sounds. Now, Silent Night. Just can't wait. Today's Burning Queen's question. Take a moment and think about it. What's your most cherished holiday memory? Call us. We want to know.